So we're going to start this video breakdown in the same place we started the article, and that's with Sadiq Bey's three-point shooting. First here, off the ball, just catch and shoot situations, and this is the thing that has to be the most scalable, the most sustainable with him in terms of three-point shooting. You see here, Lowry helps off of him. He relocates just enough to make it a little bit longer of a run for Lowry, and he's able to catch and knock it down. I'm not going to show you a ton of clips of him doing that, but you know the kind of floor spacing and how much that helps an offense. There's two that I want to see become sustainable and scalable for him. The first is coming off the staggered screen. So on the move, coming off pin downs, a staggered here as he gets screens from Walton Jr. And Garza, great job. The little right, left, one, two into this one. Looks pretty fluid and is able to knock it down. So that's one thing I want to watch for moving forward with him. And then also, if he's going to be in some ball screen situations, I wouldn't mind him taking these off the dribble. Now, there's a big difference between this and the next one I'll show you. But if a defender is going to get hung up on the screen or try to go underneath, I would love for Sadiq be able to set his feet under control and knock that down. I'm not saying those things are scalable and sustainable right now, but moving forward they may be. Now the ones that I don't think are first, right here, like a true almost isolation, bunch of dribbling, bunch of back and forth, kind of sidestep, those are not scalable or sustainable. I'm not even sure how many of those he made during this stretch, but those are the ones I don't think he's ready to make right now. And then also the catch, and he's going to end up making this one as we play through it. Good decision here. He backs up, but I think he should just shoot it right now. Like He can get this shot off and not get it blocked. The ones I want to see him get rid of, though, is this. Like It ends up being contested anyway. We saw this a lot during the stretch where there was some frustrations, and I just don't think that sidestep three is something, even though he makes that one, I don't think that one's that's scalable and sustainable in a large sample size. As we move into his driving first here, again, not a whole lot of wiggle back and forth, essentially just a straight line drive, plays through contact, and then where he's got to get a little bit better is actually finishing his touch around the rim. As you see, that one is missed right there. On this one here, he's going to catch. He's going to back and forth a little bit, some dribbles, and now he's going to spin, doesn't lose the defender, and those are the ones I think he has to get rid of or at least be able to play through contact on two feet a little bit better. Now let's look at the good ones. What I do think he can continue to do moving forward here has a good matchup, and it's going to be just a straight line drive. So here, he just a little hesitation. Boom, I'm going to go. Now the one thing I want to see better, as you see the defender knows he wants to finesse it and get to the, like just go through this body right here. You have a big, strong player on offense. Go through his body, take the contact and finish. Don't try to go to the other side of the rim and finish with the reverse on that one. We're going to see here kind of in semi-transition, a little bit of, bit more of a move, but he's going to play through contact, play through the body of the defender and gets the foul in the and one. That's where Sadiq Bey can live and drives just like that. And then I love this one. He's just going to catch, no hesitation, rip through, and go. He beats his defender off the bounce right away and attacks the dribble straight line. Not a whole lot of moves, not a whole lot of back and forth. He does go to the other side of the rim on that one and is able to finish and get to the free throw line. Again, in transition, one move, okay, just one dribble move, one crossover, downhill, plays through the contact, no finesse, just strong, and ends up getting a foul and getting to the free throw line as we've talked about his free throw shooting multiple times. The last thing, the one place where I don't mind the isolation is here. He gets a nice matchup, and so this kind of mid post, I like his eyes here, surveying the court, seeing what's available to him, and I notice he puts the ball on the, the, the ground quite a few times, but he's not rushed, he's under control, and a nice, easy fall away jump shot. Again here, we're going to get the same thing. He just turns and goes right away. He does spin on this one, but again, he doesn't try to finesse anything. He blows through the body of the defender and is able to finish on that play. Those are what I'd like to see him. One, maybe one change of direction, and then to the basket using his big physical body, maybe some mid-range post-ups, and then, of course, the catch and shoot.